I'm professional basketball player Nigel Ryan. I first started playing basketball in third grade with Colton Screen. He was a coach and organizer of a program called FYA, which stands for Flatbush Youth Association. At that age, basketball was just something else to do. Believe it or not, I didn't play high school basketball at all. It first started getting serious for me one day I was in a gym called Hoopland. This was a local indoor gym that me and my friends would go and play. And a guy actually seen me just dunking a basketball one day and decided to give me a shot to play in front of college coaches from junior college all around the country. I actually got a scholarship to go to Carl Albert Junior College, which is in Oklahoma. My first reaction was this can't be for real. I was like living a dream. Like, you know, me and my friends spoke about it, but it wasn't very serious to me. It became real when I actually was in Oklahoma and I had one of my teammates, Ant Brown, and he was getting all these scouts. This was my freshman year. And I actually seen the potential that I could have been a good player because of those scouts actually told me I could have been a good player. After the scouts told me I had a lot of potential to become a really good basketball player due to my athleticism, I began to take it a lot more serious. Came back to New York that summer and decided to develop my game a lot more. So I was working out hard. I actually went to Grenada and worked out there also, I had some beach workouts and stuff like that. My second year at junior college, I went to junior college back to Oklahoma and it was a totally different atmosphere. I was actually the star of the team this year. I actually had a major role as being the leading power forward on the team. As the season progressed, mid-season, I had a bunch of scholarship offers from many schools all around the country, and I began to take basketball even a little more serious. One of my most memorable games at junior college was against Western Oklahoma, where I had 36 points, 17 rebounds, and five blocks. At that point, I knew I was gonna be rewarded a scholarship to go to a division one school which was St. Francis. I learned a lot at junior college, but coming to St. Francis, the ball game changed. It was a lot harder, more physical, a lot faster at the Division I level. Besides that, I had two really good New York legendary basketball players as my coaches that helped me to get to the next level. Transition from college to the pros was not easy at all. I had to put together a highlight tape from college, send it out to a bunch of agents, teams, all sorts of people that I send it out to. When I first got the email to go overseas, it wasn't in my inbox, it was actually in my spam. So when I opened it, I didn't think it was real until I actually got into later conversation with the team. I checked it out and it was actually a contract to come play in Bahrain. In Bahrain, it was really tough. Being the tallest person on the team, the most athletic, the fastest, and the best ball handler, my job was really, really difficult. I was averaging 25 points, 11 rebounds, 5 blocks, and still, that wasn't enough. I quickly learned, as an American basketball player, you were held to very high standards. Yet again, I had to bring my game to another level. The things that happened to me in my life, most people They'll call it magical, like the way I got my first scholarship, my first contract, but I'll say it's the grace of God. Because of that, I develop a foundation called Team Saved by Grace. I know they see you when they want you. I know they see you when they want to make you who they want you. I'm Nigel Byam, and this is, is the beginning. You. I know that life is calling out to you by your name. But don't listen, resist it, keep running, don't you stop for nothing, just keep. Remember where you came from, don't forget what you already know, what you got is amazing.